So, um, the reason why we don't believe, obviously, that Muhammad is a role model, one of the reasons is because he allowed the killing of innocent people. You can't throw stones when your house is made out of glass. Your house will shatter. Luke, it mentions in the Gospel of Luke, Jesus said, Bring thine enemies that wish not that I rule over them, that I may cut off their head. What does Jesus say? I have not come for peace, rather I have come for the sword. J. Smith, one of the most prolific polemic speakers in Hyde Park Corner ever knows, he conceded that the Old Testament, the God of the New Testament, Jesus, uh, who they say is the God of the Old Testament, was far more violent than the, uh, any violence you find in the Quran. Now this is J. Smith saying it. So I think I've demonstrated in that very short time, time, according to the Bible, that I'm Jesus is violent. When he comes back, when he comes back, it says that he will two kill minutes. and obliterate people. This is what it says in Revelation. It says two swords will come out of his mouth. Now these swords aren't words. These swords aren't words. If you go back to the Old Testament when it talks about the Amalekites, Amam even up to today there is belief that the Amalekites are lawful to kill based on what the Old Testament said. The Old Testament sanctioned the death of babies, children, trees, the burning of crops. There is violence in the Bible. And almost all of it is in the Old Testament. We've got to deal with the violence in the Old Testament. And I'll put my hands up and I will admit, that I'll be the first to admit, Shabir, that the violence in the Old Testament is much greater than the violence in the Quran. I'll be the first to admit that. It is much greater. It's horrendous violence. In Joshua, chapter 6, verse 20, where Joshua commands the people to go in and kill all men, women, and children, even live animals. We don't see references like that in the Quran. I think that Jay, while he has admitted that uh, the... Violence in the Old Testament is much greater than in the Quran, and these are his words, which I've written, written down as soon as he spoke them. He, <laughs> he, he seems to think that the New Testament presents a different picture of morality, and we should guard against this. He brought me actually greetings from our good friend uh, James White, and James White uh, uh, has written in his book, The God Who Justifies, on page uh, 61, uh, in response to those Christians who may think, okay, that was the God of the Old Testament, now in, in the New Testament things are different. In response, White has this to say, there is only one God, and the God of the Old Testament is identical in every way to the God of the New. In the Old Testament, Jesus killed many, many people, even the babies. He commanded in 1 Samuel chapter 15, verse number 3, Go to the Amicalites, utterly destroy them, the men, the women, the children, and the infants. Jesus is saying this, this commandment. How can he be a prince of peace? If you believe in him, then there is no problem at all. There is one God, and he is the one God. So is he, he the, is the one that he is ordering to killing the babies? Why did he order killing of babies? Your Jesus, not the Quranic Jesus. Quranic Jesus is sinless. He's a prince of peace, like all the prophets. Why did your Jesus commanded killing of innocent babies? You mean in the Old Testament? But he was the God of the Old Testament. In the Old Testament? Yes. Was okay. he not the God of the Old Testament? The God of the Old Testament had given these people plenty of opportunities to believe in him. And when they got to the point where they weren't going to follow him, they had to be done away with. Even that the was infants? the judgment that God... No, say Jesus. Don't no, say I'm God. Saying Jesus, God yeah. I say God in the Old Testament. Mm -hmm. is, okay? is, Jesus he, didn't show up until so the Jesus New Testament. So Jesus was not... didn't exist. Okay. So we've, if we didn't hit exist, the wall. how would he be God? No, no, we didn't hit the wall. It's just logical. No, right? I've hit the wall. Okay, you did. Yeah. See, and any commandment in the Old Testament was coming from Jesus. Okay. 